Of course. Um, very quickly, um, Teresa said, uh, I look into fostering in the past, I was advised against it due to the amount of animals I have in the house. I rescue animals, and amongst me, I've got five dogs, nine cats, ten guinea pigs and birds. Do the same rules apply for adoption? Yes, <laughs> is, is the short answer. <laughs> and uh, I think, um, you know, ad adoption's a, a lifetime commitment. Fostering is a, tends to be a sort of shorter-term commitment. And I think um, there will be a discussion with you about a whole range of issues there in terms of, you know, the time you've got to give to a child that's being placed compared to the, the pets and so on. And a whole set of issues about health things, because some of these children may be very, very scared of animals. Some of these children may have uh, allergies to, to dogs or cats. And why um, the animals are kept and everything yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah, very rigorous, it, isn't it? Yeah. So As with everything, it'll be assessed. It'll be assessed. Very much and so. the, there's very few things that will stop anybody being considered for adoption. Mm -hmm. uh, but then it comes down to an individual assessment.